Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Although you do not have to be fluent in accounting terminology to understand QuickBooks, it is necessary to have a basic understanding of some accounting concepts prior to entering information into the program. The first concept to discuss is the chart of accounts. A chart of accounts is a listing of all of the accounts used within your company file. You can open the chart of accounts by selecting lists and then choosing the chart of accounts command from the menu bar. Your chart of accounts shows the names of the accounts used by your company, the account type like income, bank, or one of the many other account types, and the current balance within the account. There is a column called Attach which shows any attached documents associated with the account. You can double click this column to open a dialog box that allows you to attach documents from your computer, from a scanner, or from the Doc Center for free. These attached files are stored locally on your computer in QuickBooks. You will now examine the general account types found within the chart of accounts and how they are organized. The chart of accounts has a default sorting method applied to it. Assets are listed at the top, followed by liabilities, and then equity. These are the accounts that appear within the balance sheet report for your company. Following those accounts within the chart of accounts window are the income accounts, followed by the cost of goods sold and expense accounts. These accounts all appear within the profit and loss report. At the very bottom of the chart of accounts are accounts for non-posting transactions, such as purchase orders and estimates. As mentioned before, at the top of the chart of accounts window, you will see the balance sheet accounts, which appear on the balance sheet for your company file. These accounts show what you own, your assets, what you owe, your liabilities, and the difference, which is the equity. Below those accounts, you find the income and expense accounts, which track where money comes from and what it is spent on, respectively. Each balance sheet account has a register associated with it. Unlike the balance sheet accounts, the income and expense accounts each have a report that lists the transactions associated with the account. We will look at these types of accounts in more detail in later chapters, but here is a general list of the different types of accounts shown within the chart of accounts window and whether they appear in the balance sheet or the profit and loss statement within QuickBooks. So first you have assets. Assets are what you own and what other people owe to you. More specifically, the money that people owe you is called accounts receivable. Other assets may include checking account money, inventory, fixed assets like computers, and undeposited funds received from customers. Now also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although checking, savings, and petty cash accounts are all company assets, you will set them up as bank type accounts within QuickBooks. That just helps QuickBooks note their cash nature. The available types of accounts within QuickBooks that are considered assets are bank, accounts receivable, fixed asset, other current asset, and other asset. Now liabilities are what you owe to others. The unpaid bills that you have are specifically referred to as your accounts payable. A liability can be a loan, an unpaid bill, or taxes that are owed. Also note that when you set up your company file in QuickBooks, although credit cards are company liabilities, you'll set them up as credit card type accounts for ease of use within QuickBooks. The available types of accounts in QuickBooks that are liabilities are credit card, accounts payable, other current liability, and long-term liability. Now equity is the difference between what you have your sum assets and what you owe, 
all of your liabilities. The basic formula for calculating equity is assets less liabilities equals equity. Equity is seen as representing the health of your business. Equity can come from three different sources, investor money, current year profits, or retained earnings, which are profits from previous years that haven't been distributed to shareholders. The only available type of account for equity is the equity account type. Next we'll look at the profit and loss statement accounts, otherwise known as the income statement accounts. You have income accounts, which are used to track the income generated by your company. You also have expense accounts that are used to track where your company's money was spent. Income accounts are only defined by the income account type, whereas expense accounts are divided into cost of goods sold as well as the expense account type. You also have other income and other expense, which should rarely be used. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.